Hello folks, this is my 2000 EasyGo TXT golf cart. It is an all electric 36 volt golf cart. And uh, I just recently completed some upgrades to the, the cart itself. Just to give you an idea, this is what the cart looked like before. Uh, the side shot with the old 10 inch tires on it, front shot with the old halogen fog lights on it, no headlights cut off, and then of course a rear side shot uh, with no hitch on it and just the, the tires that you see there. So why don't we go ahead and jump right into the upgrades. So as you can see there on the front, we added a brush guard. The brush guard uh, is a heavy duty version from Steeling Manufacturing Company. It uh, was priced at $130 and we actually bought it from them off of eBay. The brush guard mounts in three places, two to the upper part of the frame and one to the lower part of the axle there. Uh, but it's made for factory axles that have a, a mount on the front. It did not have one on the aftermarket lift kit, but they were gracious enough to go ahead and send along the extra part that we needed. So kudos to stealing golf carts manufacturing. So next you see the LED headlights that were mounted in the front. They sent templates over when I ordered that kit. It was 160 bucks from Amazon. Uh, you ac actually cut the fiberglass out to place the headlights in. For those fog lights you see there, I took the brush guard off and welded on two pieces of metal, put some screws through it, painted it up so that you could mount the fog lights to the back of the brush guard frame. And over here in the front of the cart, we have the new uh, three position uh, light switch. It's three position. One switch turns on and off 36 volt. The other one turns on and off the 12 volt side of it and keeps the 36 volt side on so the lights remain on. It's just an easy $20 replacement from Amazon. Um, there you have the horn and the blinker controls uh, for the lighting kit. You can see the, the flashing lights there and we're gonna back up and take a look. There's the, the rear light flashing um, for a right hand turn. And we'll move up to the front of the car to look at the, the left-hand turn. With that, um, you have to mount a special brake switch. And we'll get down here and look at the pedal. So right now, the parking brake is engaged. And there is a contact switch on the rear of it. When no contact is being made on the switch, um, the wires are connected. So it's closed contact when the switch is open. There's a 30-second timer on it so that if you depress the parking brake, you know, obviously the brake lights come on, but they won't stay on longer than 30 seconds. That way your battery doesn't run down uh, with the brake lights on as the parking brake is depressed. We'll turn the, the switch off for the, the right-hand blinker, and uh, you can see that, that that's off now. So we'll go ahead and move around to the rear of the golf cart. Um, down at the bottom, of course, you see the hitch installed there. Um, you see the four bolts there on the back of the platform. That is where the extension arm comes in. I, I ordered and in, in installed in a rear hitch and then a $37 eight inch hitch extension because the, the hitch bolts line up in the storage compartment. There's four bolts to hold it to the frame there. And then I uh, welded on a piece of angle iron on top of that hitch extension and painted it, put four more bolts through it. This is what the extension looked like with the angle iron welded onto it and painted. And of course, this is what the golf cart looks like when it's actually got a, a trailer, a 5x8 trailer hitched up to it. Now you can see the, the hitch holds very well there in the rear and uh, moves just fine with the four bolts installed to handle the extra support from the tongue. So let's go ahead and, and move on around here to the other side. Um, what you have there in front of you are the new fender flares that were installed. Um, those were a fairly easy install. I also ordered those from Stealing Manufacturing Company. They were about 70 bucks. Um, they're, you know, very plastic. And there's there's like six screws in the in the rear and, and four screws in the in the front. And I piloted those holes out uh, before putting them in. Uh, up here you have the five-way mirror. That was a $20 uh, order from Amazon. Pretty cheap, but helps with the legality of it on the street. I did install a six inch lift kit. Uh, if you look back at the cart a little bit, you can see that you know, it's six inches higher than, than what the factory install would be. Um, we'll go over here and take a look at the old front frame because basically you replace that, that lower arm down there. Uh, the old one was straight all the way across. Um, you can see it there. The, the shock mounts are on the top, the wheel mounts are on the side. Uh, there were some extra plates there that went along with it. I think they raised it up just a, a hair before 
when I first purchased it from them. You can see the the new frame there, um, the six inch drop on it. You can also see the the steering strut extensions uh, in the back there. They're at the old original height for the kit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn the lights on so that you can take a look at what it looks like with the, the LED headlights and the fog lights in the front. Like I said, the one key switch um, does switch 12 volts. You can also see the blue LED strip lights that are underneath the car. Um, they're mounted in uh, a couple of channels that are underneath the frame there. They're tied, tied in, uh, all soldered and, and flex loom tied in to the main uh, lighting system just for that one 12 volt switch. So let's take a look under the seat here. Uh, there's six six volt batteries. Uh, cleaned the tops of those off a little bit, um, got the corrosion off and, and sprayed those to stop the corrosion from coming in the future. Um, you could, the first two batteries there on the top left and in the middle were paired together uh, to provide the 12 volts for the old fog lights that were in there. So instead of using that system, I dropped in uh, a DC converter, which is the blue box that you see down there. Uh, it's a 30 amp converter so that later if we want to add radios, stereos, anything to it, we can. Uh, but right now that's plenty, plenty to power up uh, fog lights and and the lights in the front. Um, there's a switch, a fused switch block there that powers the lights, um, the fog lights, and a 12 volt DC power outlet. On the right, the red, black, and white wires are part of the lighting kit. Uh, that's a separate module that you install when you uh, put the lights in. Tied all those, flex loomed it up, um, put some weather sealing on the ground there so that everything would be sealed up tight, and made sure that any connections were uh, not exposed. One of the, this is probably one of the most time-consuming uh, pieces of it was redoing all the wiring in there. Um, in the middle of the seat, where on some gas carts there's uh, a forward and reverse, I dropped in a 12-volt marine power outlet so that you can charge your phone as you drive down the road, and it's of course separately fused and, and got plenty of power. Just to give you an idea, this is what um, the LED lights on the bottom look like at night. And you can see them during the daytime there, they kind of shine. Um, you see the brake lights on the back and the, the lights on the front, uh, they do a decent job. These are the old tires stacked up here. Um, of course, there's four of them for four wheels. You can see them kind of spread out here. Um, they're actually up for sale on Craigslist right now. Uh, the wheels themselves are in about 60 bucks each. The tires are anywhere from 30 to 60 bucks altogether. Um, they're over $500 to, to purchase and put together. I've got them for sale for right around $250. So I'm just looking to, to recoup a little bit of money back out of them that I put in. So we put new knobby tires on it. It actually helps a little bit with the farm. They're 23 inch wheels and they go with the lift kit so that you can clear things a, a little bit better um, and we can use it more out on the farm. Just a couple more things to cover. Um, I did try and add a speed chip to it, but as I took the compartment off to add it, realized that there was already one in there. Um, it'll top out at about 25 miles an hour down a hill. And I also ordered some new upholstery to recover the seats. It was about 100 bucks from eBay. Those still haven't arrived yet, but when they do, I'll uh, update the video and show you the rest of it. Thanks for watching.